People keep calling me a wonderkind. I don't even know what that means. I, I mean, I know what it means. It means very successful for your age. So I guess it makes sense, but it's a weird word. Hey, Ryan. Hold on one sec. Hey, Pam, it's great to see you. Is Michael in? Hey, yeah, there he is. There he is. He's back. And he's with a beard. <laughs> he has facial hair. Look at him. All oh, grown up and no place to go. Hello, Mr. Sonny Crockett. I'm Tubbs. OK, should we get started? Oh, uh, yeah, let's get started because, uh, yes, because it was a very serious business. Yep, and, um, exactly. Have have this business, is a business meeting. Business meeting. Fire! Ah! Stop that! That's right! That's oh, right! Fire guy. fire guy! Don't start any fires! Fire right? guy! <laughs> you weren't here for that. Here for what? When he started Look the fire. Look how big he is. Look at you. You are so mature and old and little man now. You're like our little okay. man. Little old man boy. Michael, everybody. Beard. Um, bearded man boy. Wow. Let me say something. I know I used to be a temp here, but now everything is different. Yeah. I'd like your respect. I am your boss now. You're going to have to treat me the same way you treated Jan. I got away with everything under the last boss, and it wasn't good for me at all. So I want guidance. I want leadership. But don't just, like, boss me around, you know? Like, lead me. Lead me when I'm in the mood to be led. I hooked up with her on February 13th. If I had to, I could clean out my desk in five seconds and nobody would ever know I had ever been here. And I'd forget to. Hey, um... What's the deal with this guy? He's really into Kelly, huh? Yeah, they're really great together. Makes me wonder if I made a mistake. No, 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 no. Come on, I think you guys are both happier now, right? You're single, plenty of girls to date, right? <sighs> yeah. Maybe we weren't right together, but it's weird. I'd rather she be alone than with somebody. Is that love? That's about it, yeah. Excuse me, sir, on the Dunder Mifflin 18. Excuse me, yeah. sir, I'm yeah. sure you're just checking your grinder account. <laughs> but you can't check smartphones during trivia, it's against the rules. Okay, I'm, I'm turning it off. Okay, you're not turning it off. I won't, I won't look at it. Sir? I can't, I can't not touch it. Okay, then we're gonna have to take it away. Thank you. Okay, I can't, I can't not have my phone, I'm sorry. I, I want to be with my phone. I am in love with Kelly Kapoor. And I don't know how I'm gonna to feel tomorrow or the next day or the day after that, but I do know that right here, right now, all I can think about is spending the rest of my life with her. Again, that could change. Kelly. Oh, hello, Ryan. You look well. I wanted to say I'm sorry for treating you bad the past couple of years. I was in my mid-twenties and I was going through a lot of stuff. How's my favorite branch doing? All right. Ronnie was blech. Things were an all-time sad here. But then I got an email from Ryan that he was coming back to town and I called the temp agency and I told them I will pay you any amount. Just give me Ryan Howard. Give him to me. I want him. I need him. And you got a goatee. I did. Did you get that after you helped me move and you saw mine? Yes. Goatee. Fire. the Guy. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. It's great to see you, Kev. You too. I'm keeping a list of everyone who wrongs me, so when I'm back on top, they'll be sorry. Kevin just made the list. Jim. I want to apologize for how I treated you last year. I lost sight of myself, and now that I've quit the rat race, I realize there's so much more to life than being the youngest VP in the company's history. I've even started um, volunteering giving back to the community. Oh, that's great. 
You're talking about your court-ordered community service? I don't need a judge to tell me to keep my community clean. But he did, right? All right. All right. Hey, Ryan, could you start consolidating all our Rolodex information into Outlook? Uh, it doesn't seem like there's much of a point if the company's going under. But if the company doesn't go under, then we'll finally have all our contacts in one program. The company's probably going under, Could though. go either way. Seems like it's leaning one way. Maybe we should just wait and find out. Definitely. Okay. So should we wait to find out before we start doing all this stuff? Nah. Might as well do it now. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Here's the thing. Um, I've tried it like five different ways in my head. And, oh, got one. Um, I'm such a perfectionist mm -hmm. that I'd kind of rather not do it at all than do a crappy version. Simple data entry, though, so there's really only one way to do it. Sounds like you have a really specific vision for it. Do you want to maybe just take a whack at it? You know what? What? I think I know the problem. Great. I think you seem distracted. Yep. These are amazing. You took all these? I've always found beauty in uncommon places. Homeless people. Graffiti. Photography lets me capture all that. Have you ever been photographed before? Oh, just by like friends. Well, here's what I've been doing around here. Ryan has never made a sale. And he started a fire trying to make a cheesy pita. And everybody thinks he's a tease. Well, you know what? He doesn't know anything and neither do you. So suck on that! Question. Dwight. Why am I being forced to come in tomorrow and pretend that a website made sales that I made? This is a temporary measure to increase the legitimacy of the site. I don't like when my clients call me to help them use the website. I'm not seeing commissions on that. I hear you, Stanley. That is a great observation. Problems like that will not happen when we launch Dunder Mifflin Infinity 2.0. When will that be? TBD. Phyllis. Did the police solve the problem with the... Yes, yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, the social networking feature of the Dunder Mifflin Infinity website was infiltrated by sexual predators. I don't understand why our website needs to have social networking at all. Yeah, I actually have to agree with Dwayne on that one. It's all about creating a one-stop consumer experience, all right? You're chatting with your friends. You're talking about the latest music, about the election. All of it is happening in our virtual paper store. And then an older gentleman asks you boxers or briefs. I don't get the big fuss here. I like the site. If I had created a website with this many problems, I'd kill myself. Do you have a question, Kelly? Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? <sighs> I never went to Thailand. Really? I went to Fort Lauderdale. Was it nice? Yeah, it was amazing. There's a great Pad Thai place, though. I love Pad Thai. You never had pad thai. No. There's a lot I haven't done. FYI, tonight we will be hosting at Louis Volpe's. I, well, I love their breadsticks. Oh, their breadsticks are like crack. I love when people say like crack, who've obviously never done crack. Well, the breadsticks are like what then? Ryan, what can I use? I don't know, something from your world. The breadsticks are like scrapbooking. You're the right, you're right. No, I'm, I'm a middle class fraud. Hey, I'm Woof. I'm Facebook. What's up, Facebook? I sent you a Facebook message yesterday. I still haven't heard anything back. You should have sent me a Woof. A what? When you send a Woof, it goes to your home phone, cell phone, email, Facebook, Twitter, and home screen, all at the same time. Woof. Woof.com. Woof t-shirts. Who wants one? Just imagine that you're at Spring Break Daytona Beach. Here we go. Okay? Everyone's like, hey, dude, what's up with all the hotties in the Woof shirts? Or, uh, hey, what's up with that helicopter? It's Rye from Woof! It's Rye the Woof guy! No, Rye from Woof! He's up there. What's he dropping? Wow, what's falling on us, man? Woof condoms! 50,000 condoms out of the sky! Look at that! He threw them on the ground! Look, that's just a marketing campaign. You got nine days. Let's say you do get the money. What are you gonna do with it? The first lesson of Silicon Valley, actually, is that you only think about the user, the experience. You actually don't think about the money, ever. That sounds weird. No, it's not no. weird, Andy. And you know what else? We have an offer from Washington University, so monetize that. <laughs>